Hello YouTube, I've got a question for you. What's the only thing that's better than a giant clarinet? Two giant clarinets. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Why am I starting a second project when this thing behind me isn't even done yet? And that's a very valid point. One of my flaws is that I tend to jump around on projects a lot. I'll start one thing, kind of finish it halfway, and then jump to another thing when I'm inspired. And while I agree that's probably not the best way to get a project done, I have a very good reason for doing this instrument. You see, I really want to test out some features that I didn't implement on the Octocontra bass for one reason or another. Um, the first thing that I really want to test out is a smaller bore. Now, I originally thought that the bore of the Octo Contrabass clarinet, the original one made by LeBlanc, was around 38 millimeters. What I actually found is that it's only 33 millimeters. So I was wondering, why does this instrument have such a small bore? And I wanted to test that out. So while the Octo Contrabass behind me has a bore of 40 millimeters, this instrument, the Octo Contra Alto clarinet, has a bore of 35 millimeters, still two millimeters bigger than the LeBlanc, but actually smaller than the largest contrabass clarinet bore, which is actually around 36 millimeters. So because of this, it'll pair great with a traditional contrabass clarinet mouthpiece. Now the second thing that I wanted to test out is the key work, and this is the part of the project that I'm most proud of. So on the octo contrabass clarinet, I have simple system key work, which works, it can play a chromatic scale, but there's a lot of problems with fingering, and really, that fingering system is pretty much out of date by almost 150 years. So I thought, why not try and make some kind of bone system key work, like I originally wanted to do on the octa contrabass. And that's exactly what I did in this instrument. So I have, let's believe, five keys installed on the instrument, so I can play five notes, there's a low F, G, A, B flat, B natural, and C. So just like a bone system clarinet. So my idea is that anybody who plays bass clarinet or contra bass clarinet, or maybe clarinet, can pick this up and know the finger immediately, which I think is super handy, and it'll hopefully make a good prototype for possibly even a production model of this instrument, which I think is super cool. So why don't I just uh, demonstrate the key work? So let me see if I can get this in frame. So it's got these two keys on the side, and essentially this is the top pad cup that covers the CG tone hole. This covers the, I believe that is the B natural F sharp tone hole, and this is the B flat F tone hole. So when you close either of these two tone holes on the bottom, it'll also close this pad cup up here. So essentially making it a bone system key work. So aside from a few small intonation issues that are mostly because the instrument really isn't completely finished yet, especially not these five keys that I have installed, I'm really happy with how it's actually coming out. It, it's relatively comfortable and it plays fairly well. I'm actually really surprised how well it came out because I was having a lot of problems with keys flexing on the octo contra bass. However, that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. So I think the uh, design that I'm using is feasible and I plan to use similar designs on the rest of the instrument to try and make a relatively, a relatively close to bone system type instrument. It's probably going to be missing some alternate keys, but it'll be close enough to bone system that most clarinetists should be able to pick it up without too many problems. So I'm really excited this instrument also because being in the key of E flat has a huge advantage over the octo contra bass, and that's transposition. Now the really cool thing about instruments in the key of E flat is that they can read directly off bass clef parts without doing too much transposition. All they really have to do is either add three sharps to the part, take away three flats, or some combination of the two. So while the contralto clarinet is very commonly used for reading bassoon parts, this instrument will be good for reading contra bassoon parts, which I think is huge. A lot of wind ensembles, especially the one I'm 
the ones I've been a part of, don't have contra bassoons because they are expensive, they're hard to transport, and finding competent contra bassoons is even harder than finding contra bassoons. So if a bass clarinetist or contra bass clarinet could pick up an instrument and play a contra bassoon part, that would be huge for wind ensembles and orchestras that might not quite have the funds or the players to have all the lower woodwinds that you would really desire in an orchestra. So this instrument will be super useful as a doubler's instrument. And the cool thing is, I, unlike the octo contrabass clarinet, I don't have to wait for music to be written. I can take this to my wind ensemble, tell my director, hey, I want a contrabassoon part, and I can play it. Now, some bassoonists probably aren't going to be happy with that. I mean, clarinet isn't a bassoon, but I think it will be a good substitute. And while it's not as good as a real thing, it's better than nothing. So as a doubler's instrument, I think this has a lot of potential, and I hope that means that it has a good market, that it could potentially sell very well and be relatively popular. And then maybe the contrabass clarinet wouldn't be the lowest me common member of the, cl of the clarinet family anymore. So I am super excited about this project, and what I want to do is I want to kind of stagger the project. So I'm going to work on this one week, work on the after contrabass the next, what I want to do is I want to learn from each project and apply what I learned from one project to the other so that hopefully by the time both of these instruments are finished, I will have two amazing clarinets that will help demonstrate that these subcontractors instruments have a place in the clarinet family. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about this instrument? Uh, which instrument do you like better? Do you think the octo contra alto is cooler because you can read off contrabassoon parts and transpose? Or do you think that the contra, octo contra bass clarinet is cooler because it can create earthquakes with its lowest note? Um, I, always, I always like talking with you guys in the comments, so if you guys want to start some discussions, I'm happy to chat with you guys. Um, also, let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Have a wonderful day.